Take off that red shirt. Take off that red shirt. Uh, okay, let's go. <laughs> well, it's grayish in color, so I can't can't take it out. But it's not, not it's not cardinal red. It's, yeah, we'll, we'll forgive yeah. him. It's not cardinal red. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time in Olympics. I'm very excited about it. Uh, the opening ceremony was amazing. Uh, just the whole atmosphere here is just amazing. Uh, some something new I never experienced before. I've been to big competition before, but uh, this is definitely something. Something new, something, something higher. So yeah, this is my first Olympics. Um, you know, it, it, it's 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 been a long time coming. Um, I mean, both both Martin and I have been talking about hitting the standard for this thing for uh, for uh, almost two years now, I think. It's a great feeling. It's uh, something I'm very proud of to represent my country in Olympics. It's, it was definitely my dream since, ever since I was a kid, since I was growing up. I, I represent Iran, and it, it's um, I mean. It, if, if you know me, it's not weird that I'm representing Iran, but if you don't know me, it's probably really weird that I'm representing Iran, having been born and raised in the U.S. Iran has got uh, six people here for track and field, um, and I, I've, known, I've known them since I've been on the, the Iranian national team, so since 2003. They're pretty good friends of mine, and they're all, you know, they don't speak very much English, and I don't speak very much Farsi, so it's, it's a little bit difficult to communicate at times, um, but it, it's funny how sports bring people together, even though they don't speak the same language. This, this uh, checkered? is uh, what we have on, uh, on our flag in the, in the middle. And Croatian uh, colors are blue, blue, white, and red. As you can see over there, I don't know, can you see it? And uh, we have a checker inside, so this is it. This is Croatian, uh, Croatian Olympic symbol. Uh, we got jerseys, we got pants, red pants, with everything. We got even, we got even socks. I don't know, can you see, but it's, here it is. So we got a full, full outfit. If you're wondering how you throw this kiss, it's not like Frisbee. It's nothing like frisbee. It's uh, it's uh, four, almost five pounds heavy. You hold it. You make a swing on your on your left turn. You go over the pivot leg. It's important to put this leg outside to get a bigger motion to get a faster move. You put it in the middle of the ring. Again, you go hard with your left foot. You gotta make sure you go very hard to get that motion. And then what is important, very important, this is to get the right tra trajectory. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, so you gotta go wide, wide open with the discus to get a more pull on it. And when you finish, it needs to be over your index finger. And so not like this, uh, what many people do it in the beginning when they start training. So over your index, index finger, you go outside and it spins uh, clockwise. And, and you go like this, you have to do that. It goes further, I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> okay, so a shot put is a is a basically a 16 pound small bowling ball. It's like a cannonball. It's uh, the one I throw is 129 millimeters, and it weighs 16 pounds. So you want to you put it in, in your hand just just above. You don't want it in the palm of your hand or in the heel of your hand. You want it just at the top of the palm of your hand, so you can get a good uh, so you can get good pressure on it with your fingers. So you take the shot put, you put it up in your neck, and you want to start. You want to have your hips under you and you want to have your, your, your legs in an athletic position, almost like you're doing a squat. And then what you do is you, have, uh, you want to have your upper body closed and you want to open up your left leg and then you want to run your right leg out and around to the middle of the ring. So you're here and you're here. So when you get here, you want to take your left leg and shoot it through, but at the same time, you want to, you want to have the shot put behind your hip. And the reason you want to do that is so you can get a whip action from your hip to the shot put and out into the sector. And it's, it's the same motion as, as swinging a baseball bat, same motion as throwing a punch. So if you're a baseball player or a boxer, it's, it's, it's very easy to relate to the shot put. Yeah. <laughs> I choose Cal because of great athletic history. We have a, a, well, our best Croatian swimmer went to Cal, Due Draganja, and he kind of recommended me uh, to come to Cal because of the uh, good athletics. Even Due Draganja, he on his Olympics at uh, Athens on a winning ceremony, 
he wear his uh, KL hat, which uh, Croatia gave him a little bit trouble. I'll definitely try. If I win, maybe I'll do the same as uh, Dua did. <laughs> I'm here and I'm and I'm resting until after my competition. You know, I, I've got you know Wednesday, Thursday to prepare. You know, my my final preparations. You know, and and you know at this point it's basically like, you know, just go rest. You know, don't do anything stupid. Don't go out and party. Don't go out and walk around for five miles just because you want to see Beijing. Wait till after your competition. Wait till after everything to go to go. You know, see everything you want to see because you're here to compete. You're here to, you know do your job and, and, and you know represent you you know represent myself, represent my family, represent Iran, represent Cal, represent everybody in a positive way. Go Bears. Go Bears. <laughs>